Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading will give you guidance and messages from Spirit to help you through your day and on your soul's journey. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs at the time they view this video. A couple more shuffles in here. It's a very rainy, gray day in South Florida right now. Lots of rain this time of year. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? We start off with the Ten of Cups and the Hermit. The Ten of Cups, that emotional fulfillment, that water energy, that happiness coming together, being happy, the fulfillment of your happiness, the fulfillment of the suit of cups. Also, again, that water energy. The hermit is Virgo energy, but we see the hermit is shining the light of experience, the light of knowledge, the light of wisdom on the 10 of cups. So I feel this is showing you, Pisces, that you're, you've really learned what your happiness is or where your happiness is and you've learned the things that do not make you happy and the things that do make you happy what other messages do you have for pisces please what other messages do you have for pisces today please spirit the next message we have is the four of wands a celebration a marriage celebrating a manifestation coming in the Four of Wands is also Twin Flame energy. It's also 1111, indicating that you're on the right path. It's a very favorable card, one of celebration, one of joy, one of merriment. What other messages for Pisces, please? What other messages for Pisces? What other messages for Pisces? And at the end of this reading, I will be picking a lucky oracle card. And on the lucky oracle card, it does have a yes or no answer. So you might want to take some time to think about a question that would have a yes or no answer for it. What other messages do you have for Pisces today, please, Spirit? Show us clearly what other messages you have for Pisces. There we go. And then we have the five of pentacles. This is some type of, type of lack of suffering, of illness, of feelings of being feeling unloved, unwanted, rejection, abandonment. We'll see what's going on with that in a moment. Feeling as though you're an outsider. Maybe even feeling as though you don't fit in. Um, I'm hearing the island of misfit toys, um, which is a reference to an old um christmas movie if you're familiar with that um what other messages do you have for pisces please what other messages i just heard alone in my happiness so some of you may be happy but you may feel as though you don't necessarily have anyone to genuinely share it with what other messages for pisces show us what other messages you have for pisces please spirit Okay, and we have two more messages coming out here. Well, three actually. The next card we have coming out is the Magician. Manifestations, having the skills, abilities, and talents to go forward. The Magician also has the infinity, infinity sign. Um, looking at energy, uh, I'm hearing energy is neither lost nor gained. And then we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is waiting for your ships to come in. It's also looking upon the horizon, taking a moment of pause and looking at what direction you're navigating, what having made a decision in the Two of Wands, you've made a decision to go forward with something. And here you're, this is a pause before you go forward with it. The next card we have is the Five of Swords. Now we do see a contrast in this energy. Fives being a number of change, also a number of chaos. 
The Five of Swords is a very resistant energy. It's wanting what you want at any cost, but it's also showing somebody walking away, making a decision, Two of Swords, to walk away from something that's heartbreaking, a person, a thing, an energy that's causing you some type of pain and loss. And we do see a contrast within this reading about your happiness, the fact that you've been able to assimilate a lot of the pain, the trials, the tribulations, and do the healing and take that not as a wound, but as wisdom. So we see that you've turned wounds into wisdom, but the thing is, now you're at a place of celebration, a place of happiness, on the right path, and we have the introduction of the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Now these are harsher energies of feelings of rejection, abandonment, being outside, being in the energy of resistance. Now with the Magician card, we'll clarify this in just a moment, I am getting that it could be a manipulation as well. So let's dive in and get information about this reading. Spirit, what is this Ten of Cups for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Ten of Cups? For the Ten of Cups, Pisces, we are getting the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles shows a focus. It shows that you're working on building something. It's showing that you're prioritizing one thing over another. You're working on completing something. What is this hermit card for Pisces, please? And this could literally be working on your happiness or focused on your happiness, focusing on what truly brings you happiness, what brings you fulfillment and joy. What is this hermit, please? What is this hermit? And here for the hermit, we are getting the three of cups. So just as we were saying about that joy, that celebration, that merriment, we see the hermit here is being clarified by the three of cups. Is it or is it not better to focus on happiness and joy? The vibration that comes with joy, with happiness, with celebration is a higher vibration, but it also generally feels much better. So we're seeing, focusing on things that bring you joy. It could be social engagements. It could be friendships. It could be things that you're doing, actions you're taking that bring you to a place of celebration. What is this Four of Wands for Pisces? What is this Four of Wands for Pisces, please? We have a few cards for the Four of Wands, two cards. The first one is the Devil. So this is definitely a harsher energy, Devil's Capricorn energy, but it's also the energy of lust. It's the energy of narcissism, materialism, being in bondage. It could also be the Four of Wands with the Devil. The Devil can represent a ball and chain. The Four of Wands could represent marriage. So some of you may be in a marriage or a committed relationship where you're feeling a bit oppressed, feeling as though you're chained to it, or, or there might be some unhealthy dynamic that's occurring. Now, I'm going to clarify this devil so we understand a little bit more about what's going on. Oh, first we need to look at this card. Then we have the Six of Pentacles. So we have the devil and the Six of Pentacles. I'm feeling as though there is something that is unfair here. There could be somebody going outside of a relationship, somebody giving to something else. For example, you could be with somebody who's focusing on their work or career more than the relationship. The Six of Pentacles shows something is imbalanced. It also shows that there is receiving charity or giving charity. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about this devil? What does Pisces need to know about this devil? And we have the King of Swords. King of Swords, masculine air energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, very discerning. I'm hearing the word cutthroat. So some of you could be dealing with somebody who's very cutthroat, 
or it could be that you're needing to cut off a toxic, unhealthy connection. What is the Six of Pentacles, please? What is the Six of Pentacles for Pisces? And we have the Temperance. So the Six of Pentacles is about either receiving charity or giving charity, depending on what position you're in. Then we have the Temperance. Temperance is about something coming together to form a new substance. It's also about balance. It's alchemy. And we see one foot in a situation, one foot out of a situation. So for some of you or those of you who have found yourself in an, in an unfair, imbalanced position or situation, this is really about you coming to terms with the reality, the 3D reality of the situation, utilizing your discernment and making a decision about what is going to be in your highest and best good. What path, four of wands, 1111, you're on the right path. What will be your true right path? What is this five of pentacles for Pisces? What is this five of pentacles for Pisces? For the five of pentacles, we are getting the knight of wands. So there is a change occurring here. The five of pentacles is showing that hardship, that energy of lack. The knight of wands can be player energy, somebody who's here for a good time, but not a, a long time. Romantic player energy, somebody who's, you know, very flirtatious, but has no, no roots, no, um, meaning behind their words or actions. The Five of Pentacles also being a card of feeling rejected and abandoned. The next card we have here is the Knight of Swords. So we see a very harsh energy, the Knight of Swords representing a harsh truth. It's also the Swords being that mental energy. So you could have that harsh truth, harsh words. Somebody could have said a harsh message to you but swords are verbal and mental energy the knights are taking action so we're seeing with the wand energy that's passion creativity and then the knight of swords is verbal mental energy so taking some very rapid swift changes and actions something may have even caught you off guard and left you feeling as though you're in a lack position let's take a look at this magician what is this magician for Pisces, please? For the magician, we are getting the Two of Cups, manifesting a situation that is equal. Manifesting something that is going to be on your level. The Two of Cups, twos being unions, choices, decisions, cups being emotions. So we're seeing unions, decisions, and choices around your emotions. So I am feeling that you could be around somebody who has been emotionally manipulative, but for some of you, other if that's not your situation, this is about you manifesting something that is the true match for you. What is this Two of Cups for Pisces? What is this Two of Cups for Pisces, please? And for the Two of Cups, we have this Strength card. Strength is about patience. It's about compassion. I'm hearing love is patient, love is kind, love neither brags nor boasts. So we're having a lot of compassion, feeling very strong feelings here. So some of you are wanting to manifest a very strong connection, a very strong love, a very strong dynamic. What is this three of wands, please? What is this three of wands, please? I'm hearing some of you are coming out of this energy. What else do you want me to say, Spirit? Some of you are coming out of this energy. And you were in the energy previously as a lesson about how to be true to yourself and true to your own needs. What is this Three of Wands? For the Three of Wands, we are getting the Two of Wands. So just as we spoke about before, you've made that decision. The Two of Wands is a decision. Three of Wands is waiting that pause before the Four of Wands, before it becomes a reality. 
Then the next card we have is the Ten of Cups. You're making a decision regarding your happiness. The next card we see is the Five of Swords. So this is a decision to walk away from anything that's heartbreaking, any type of loss, any type of pain. What is this Five of Swords for Pisces? What is this Five of Swords for Pisces, please, Spirit? Show us clearly what this Five of Swords is. What I'm hearing is some of you may have had your intuition telling you, speaking to you very loudly about a person or situation or an action you should take. And some of you began to feel very uncomfortable because you were not heeding your intuition and you were staying with the thing that was causing you the very resistance that you wanted to get out of. So here we're having the Wheel of Fortune, a positive change. This is very fortuitous energy. It's good luck. It's the changing of a cycle. The next card we have is the Knight of Cups, a new offer, a proposal, a change, an emotional change taking place. The Knight of Cups is also Romeo. It's also the... The water energy being that emotion, that feelings. So having some type of change in your feelings and emotions. So I think what's happening here, what we're seeing is that you're awakening. Spirit says, no, it's not awakening because you were already woke to your intuition. But this is listening, listening to your intuition and taking the actions, making the decision to move forward in a more positive, more healthy way, instead of remaining in that resistant energy. Spirit, one card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, but this is about choosing you, choosing your happiness, listening to your intuition, and moving forward in a way that is in alignment with your true and best path and true and best good. Spirit, one card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, thank you. And we are getting passion ignited. There is a new beginning here, a beginning of passion, a beginning of creativity. There's a fire burning in your belly to go in a direction, listening to your intuition, feeling something stirring within you that's catalyzing a forward movement for you. Spirit, one oracle for Pisces out of this deck for this reading. One oracle for Pisces out of this deck for this reading, please. And here, Pisces, we are getting the hound and the pair, loyalty. Some of you may have been previously in a disloyal situation. The six of pentacles with the devil could show or represent for some of you that there was an unhealthy balance and an unhealthy situation where somebody was giving to something else and there was an imbalance spirit one oracle out of this deck for pisces for this reading and here pisces we are getting accept what is the act of acceptance will bring peace so i'm hearing um the the, the prayer or the saying help me to accept the things I cannot change. So recognizing the things that you cannot change, the only thing you have control of is yourself, your thoughts, your actions, your behaviors, and your steps forward. Spirit, one lucky oracle for Pisces for this reading. One lucky oracle for Pisces for this reading, please. Show us one card, please, Spirit, just one. Just one, so I know which one it is. Show us one card for this reading. Thank you so much. And here, Pisces, you will hear of a marriage shortly, a call from a loved one, a kiss, and that's what we're seeing here, two of cups. Some of you are manifesting love. Some of you are manifesting unity, 
a strong, compassionate, um, bold love. Guard against losses in the future. That's also what we're speaking about. Walking away from things that cause you pain, heartache, loss. Coming away from the five of pentacles, energy of rejection, abandonment, loss, lack. A, chan a change for the best. And here we have the, the wheel of fortune, which is indicating there is a positive change a change for the better but the decision is ultimately up to your free will and your decision to go in the direction of a better path for yourself if you chose a yes or no question the answer today is yes the lucky number for today is three four five when you have a number sequence in order like that it represents a progression, the steps on your path and the progression towards the right direction. Four of Wands, 1111, on the right path. This reading is about the decisions and choices you're making. The energy that you have assimilated into experience and the decisions you're going to make to come away from resistance, to come away from lack and ultimately go towards your happiness. Three, four, five added together are 12, which reduces to the number three. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.